they, sloth bears, have a reputation for attacking people without apparent reason, provided that the person happens to pass too close, either while the bear is asleep, or feeding, or just ambling along. So the natives give the bears a wide berth. Together with the elephant, they command the greatest respect from jungle-dwelling folk. In the early hours of Sunday, June 5th, 2022, an unsuspecting couple in India found themselves journeying through a dense forest on their way home from the temple one morning. However, little did Mukesh Rai and his wife Gudia know that a chance encounter with a sloth bear lay ahead. Deciding to confront the wild creature instead of retreating, the couple would on this fateful day realize the grave consequences of their choice. Sloth bears, despite their reputation as dangerous animals in India, are actually relatively small in size compared to other bear species. Adult sloth bears typically weigh around 80 to 145 kilograms, which is much lighter than the average weight of other bear species like grizzlies or polar bears. However, their smaller size may explain their highly aggressive nature, as well as why they have developed such responses to potential threats in their habitats, such as tigers. Sloth bears are known to be fiercely territorial and will not hesitate to defend their young or themselves from predators. In fact, their aggressive behavior may just be what helps them survive in the wild, where they face constant danger from larger predators. According to the aforementioned Kenneth Anderson, author of Man-Eaters and Jungle Killers, it may come as a surprise that sloth bears cause more human deaths than even their larger, much more popular cousins, polar and grizzly bears. This observation was made in a study conducted in the year 2000 on sloth bear attacks in Madhya Pradesh between 1989 and 1994. The study revealed that over the course of six years, sloth bears caused 48 human fatalities and 687 maulings, averaging 123 attacks per year. This rate is 16 times higher than the comparative bear attack statistics of the entire state of Alaska during the same period. These results would lead many experts to conclude that sloth bears seem to pose a much more significant danger to human safety compared to any bear species in North America. Not to mention the research also considered differences in population numbers, as well as the fact that varying levels of human contact significantly influence these statistics. After paying a routine early morning visit to the Kermai Temple in the early hours of Sunday, June 5th, 2022, happily married couple Mukesh and Gudia Rai had been making their way back home on foot and would on this day decide to cut through a wooded area near the temple to save them some time on the trip. A spontaneous decision that would in hindsight prove fatal. The couple would make it to about a kilometer away from home before suddenly crossing paths with a fully grown adult sloth bear, stopping them in their tracks. Thomas Sharp and the Wildlife SOS team argue that a main concern is that locals that live in proximity to sloth bears have a limited understanding of how to act around them and highlighted that there's to this day no clear advice on the safest way to handle an encounter with one if unarmed, or even what to do if one does start charging you. In fact, in a 2017 study on sloth bear attack behavior and safety measures, Sharp interviewed people involved in 181 separate sloth bear encounters, and the findings made it hard to identify a one-size-fits-all approach for dealing with them, as each situation was unique. However, by examining the three most common responses from interviewees, they noted that some general strategies could be inferred. The first most common response was fighting back, which led to fatalities in 9% of these cases, with severe and minor injuries occurring in 12% and 50% of the instances, respectively. And the second most common response was running away. Among those people who attempted to escape, 11% were ultimately attacked and killed, while 9% sustained severe injuries and 42% had suffered moderate injuries. And then there's playing dead, which was the third most common response, in which no fatalities were reported among the individuals who did this during an attack. But 18% of these people would experience severe injuries, and 65% of them moderate ones. Understanding that attempting to flee was not a prudent decision, the couple chose to try to deter the bear by facing it assertively. And it was during this confrontation that the powerful sloth bear reportedly reacted aggressively leading to a violent attack where the bear would go on to inflict fatal damage to their bodies. In an unforeseen encounter with a sloth bear, a person might confront a series of worrisome behaviors that escalate the danger. Visualize this, perceiving a threat or feeling trapped 
the sloth bear opts to charge at the individual, seeking to intimidate or launch an attack. The atmosphere becomes tense as the sloth bear, possessing powerful forelimbs and elongated curved claws, powerfully strikes at the person, inflicting deep gashes and lacerations into their torso, and employs its formidable jaws and razor-sharp teeth to inflict nasty bites on their victims. And to further assert their dominance, the sloth bear leverages its substantial weight and strength to bring the victim to the ground, hindering their ability to escape or even protect themselves. This is the kind of unfolding of events which underscores the potential hazards as well as the intensity one may face during an encounter with the sloth bear. After neutralizing both Mukesh and Gudia, the mighty sloth bear would then drag both their bodies to a nearby river, where it would then begin feeding on their bodies. It wasn't until about five hours after the tragic incident that local authorities would arrive at the scene where a large crowd had assembled due to the fast-spreading news of a fatal bear attack. Officials would need an additional two hours to sedate and apprehend the bear, and several reputable Indian media outlets would then disclose that the bear was to be relocated to a zoo in another city. Despite their efforts to conserve the bear's life, a later report would reveal that the bear had died about two hours after it was captured, information which was confirmed by Divisional Forest Officer Gaurav Sharma. A medical examination would be conducted, which would reveal that the bear was rabid, and this likely contributed to not just its willingness to attack Mukesh and Gudia, but was likely the reason for its lack of responsiveness to gunshots that were fired in the air by locals that attempted to scare it away from the couple's bodies near the riverbank. In response to the tragic incident, the couple's dependents would be provided with financial aid amounting to about 5,000 US dollars, although the reality was of course that no amount of money could possibly heal their pain. The tragic encounter between Mukesh and Gudia Rai and the sloth bear is a stark reminder that humans must always treat the wild with respect as we navigate shared spaces with wildlife, understanding their behavior and habitats is crucial. Coexistence is key, especially in rural regions of a country as populous as India, where human and sloth bear encounters are an inevitability. Mukesh and Gudia's story remains a potent lesson in vigilance and a call for us to acknowledge and respect the power of nature. If this episode piqued your interest, then our previous episode about a beheaded rattlesnake that injected its entire venom sac into a young man on what started off as a peaceful Sunday is likely to do the same. You can find it on the end screen of this video.